Hello students. We continue with our second chapter that is the conceptual design. In a previous lecture, we discussed the relationships that is the one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many relationships. Now we discuss the participation relationships. In a participation constraints, participation that is the those entity which are participates in a relation that is the participation constraints that the it is the participations of entity set in a relationship set. The participation constraints can be either total or the partial constraint. Total participations specifies that each entity in the entity set must compulsorily participate in at least one relationship instance in that relationship set. That, that is, consider the example, a student, those are the enrolled in a college, they have select at least one subject. So total participation that does not compulsory each student have enrolled to the each subject, but at least one student select the one course or select in a one course. So that types of the compulsory participation is a total participation. It is also called as a mandatory participation. Total participation is represented using the double lines between the entity set and the relationship set. For example, here R is a relationship set and E is an entity and who is a total participation that is a compulsory participation in a relationships R. For example, here mentions that a student enrolled in a course, here double lines between the entity set students and relationship set enrolled in signifies the total participation that is a each students are enrolled in but its course specifies that at least one course it specifies that each student must be enrolled in at least one course that is students have to compulsory enroll but to all not all the courses but at least one course so that types of the participation is a total participation then second particip uh, method is a partial participation. In a partial participation, it specifies that each entity in the entity set may or may not participate in the relationship instance in that the relationship set. Means it is optional. They have to involve in a relationship or they does not have to involve in a relationship. It is not a compulsory. So it is an optional participation. That type of participation is called as an optional participation. Partial participation is represented using a single line between the entity set and the relationship set. For example, here student enrolled in course. Here students is a total participation means each student have to enroll in at least one course. So that the student have the total participation, but the course have the which is exist or not exist. That is a partial uh, participation. Is a single line between the entity set course and the relationship set enrolled in signifies a partial participation, but it specifies that there must exist some courses for which no enrollments are made. That is the partial participation. Then after that, there is a third type of the uh, relationships is the degree of participation. The degree of relationships type is the number of participating the entities. That the total number of how many entities are enrolled in a relationships that is the degree of participation. The degree of relationship set is equal to the number of entities set participating in a relationship set is a degree. There are the three types, unary, binary and the ternary relationship. 
a unary relationship a in a unary relationship exist only one entity and they have the relations with their own so that the unary relationships exist when both the participating entity types are the same and then such a relations present we said that the degree of a relationship is one for example in this di uh, diagram student manages the student suppose in a classroom we have a many student who belongs to the uh, particular club like the basketball dance music music club etc and some of them some of them are the club leads means some students are participate in a club and they are uh, all of them are the student and the sum of the student there are they are the student leads so particular group of student is managed by their respective club head so we can represent the relationships using a er diagrams are student manages the student that is a unary relationship and here degree is one because only one entity is involved in that relationship then second is the binary relationship that is a which has the degree to relationships a binary means two a binary relationship exists when exactly two entity types are participate when a such a relationship is present we say that their degree is two the most common degree of a relationship it is easy to handle the relational database which is easily converted into the tables by using the binary relationships for example one customer has there are the two types of the entity customer and account the custom where each customer has an account we stores an account details of the customers since we say that two entity types are participating we call it a binary relationship their degree is two and the customer can have many account but each account should belongs to only one customers that is the that types of the relationships is a binary because it involves the two entities and this uh, mostly use the binary relationship because it is easy to handle the relational database using the binary relationship uh, easily uh, defines the draws the table shows the relations and the third type is a ternary that is a degree 3 a ternary relationship exists when exactly three entity types are participate when a such a relationship is present we say that the degree is 3 as the number of entity increase in the relationship it becomes complex to convert them into relational table for example we have the three entity employee department and location the relationships between these entities are defined as an employee works in a department and employee works at a particular location so we can see we have three entities participates in a relationship so it is a ternary relationship and the degree of the relationships is a 3 for example employee works in a department and that uh, they have the location those employee was in a department that there there was in a particular location so there are the three entities one is the employee second one is the location and third one is the department and they are that types of the relationships is known as the ternary relationships these are the deg degree relationships then after that we have to discuss the constraints constraints are the limitations limitations about what types of the data we have to inserts in a table that is the constraints constraints enforce the limits to the data or types of data can be inserted updated or deleted from a table so there are used to limit the types of data that go into the table constraints can be either on column level or a table level the column level constraints are applied only to the one column whereas the table level constraints apply to the whole table 
the accuracy and the reliability of the data in the database the whole purpose of the constraint is to maintain the data integrity during updation insertions and deletions of a table constraints means the limitations limitations ki what types of the values we have to insert what types of the updations are performed then when the deletes a particular record it does not affects that the other data so there is the provide the some types of the limits that is the constraint there are the different types of the constraints first one is a key constraint key constraints means we already defined that the each entity have the key attributes but that key attributes you when we say that that attribute is a primary key or the uh, non primary key such types of the constraints are applied they are the key constraints second one is a integrity constraints integrity constraints means when we make the operations on a data that makes the consistency that is a integrity constraints then third one is a referential constraints referential constraint refers when the show that the relationship is between the two tables then it is a referential constraints then unique constraints null constraints that the unique constraints ki in the column contains only the unique value null constraints means that column or that attributes does not have any value that is a null constraints then domain constraints domain constraints specifies what types of the values in a table what data types of the values in a table that are mentions in a domain constraint then check constraint the check constraints that are applied to the insertion updations operation they have to per, that data are inserted in a tables then specifies the condition that is a check constraints then mapping constraints mapping constraints are one to one one to many many to one or the many to many constraints thank you